I just wanted to do a quick overview of the project we've been working on. This is a simulation of a quadcopter that we have built a physical model for. The simulation has everything from command inputs to control outputs as well as the dynamics model that displays how the quadcopter would behave. We start with an input from the pilot, uh, which we are using an Xbox 360 controller just for simplicity. It has the two joysticks, the same as we would use on a FM receiver, or transmitter and receiver. From there we go into a mode logic, which we have different selectable states, so that we can control things from accelerations to positions or velocities. The mode logic takes the input, the joystick input, as well as the mode command, and outputs desired states, which can be the accelerations, positions, or velocities. From there, our command block takes those desired states and translates that into the necessary accelerations in order to achieve those states. From there, the desired accelerations are passed into the control allocation block, which takes those desired accelerations and outputs the actuator forces necessary for the quadcopter model to actually perform those actions. Those, the actuator block then takes those desired forces and passes them into the plant, which is our dynamics model of the quadcopter. So we take those forces in and we get a model, a three-dimensional model, that hopefully behaves the way that our physical quadcopter behaves. Everything is fed back through a sensor block which allows us to do PID control for both the roll pitch, roll and pitch, as well as the yaw and the Z motions. So now I'll just show a quick demonstration of our plot. We have a three-dimensional plot here, centered always on the quadcopter, which allows ease of control so that we don't have to worry about it flying out of frame. And we can control everything from yaw which as you can see it goes up to a certain velocity, we're commanding a, a angular rate and when we let go of the joystick the PID control takes over and reduces the angular rate back down to zero. The same thing happens with the Z axis, as you can see the frame it stays centered on the quadcopter, so as you watch the axes you can see the quadcopter is moving up or down, and then the roll and pitch are commanded similarly. When we command a roll or a pitch, the simulation, the control block, since we are not commanding a Z velocity, tries to hold the Z position constant, and that results in motion in the X and Y axes. And as we return the joystick back to zero, the model is only compensating for roll and pitch position, so any velocity in the X and Y directions will remain. Now I'll do a quick demonstration of our PID control. Basically we're going to be feeding in a step function to command a pitch of pi over 6 radians and then we will plot the response to that command. So we'll just run this for 10 seconds. Hit play. You can see in about 5 seconds in it commands a pitch and you can see it moving along the axis. And then we get a plot of our response. This is at five, five seconds where we commanded the step input for pi over six radians or 30 degrees. And you can see the response of our quadcopter to that. You get a little bit of overshoot, somewhere around 7%, and then it comes back down and settles.